As we start to think about painting our cactus, let's practice making the color green. First, let's look at some art. This is a painting by the French artist Henry Edmond Cross. It is a painting of a landscape. He lived between 1856 and 1910. That's over 100 years ago. In this landscape painting, there are many different plants and trees. But as you can see, he didn't use just one type of green to paint the trees. He used many hues. Hue means color. Here is a painting by another French artist named Paul Gauguin. What do you think the women are thinking about? Look at all of the different hues Gauguin uses in this painting. Let's zoom in and look at the background. How many different types of green can you see? Let's practice mixing our own greens. You will need a piece of paper. If you have a thicker piece of paper or watercolor paper, that will work great. If you don't, you can just use a normal piece of paper. You will need a brush. You will need some water. You will need a paper towel. And you'll need some paint. I poured just the primary colors, which are blue, yellow, and red. How do you make green out of those colors? Take a little bit of blue onto your brush, wash, wash, wash your brush, and then dry, dry, dry it. Take a little bit of yellow and mix them together. Green! Paint some of that green onto your paper. Make sure you really fill your brush up with paint and don't forget to wash it and also to dry it. See if you can make different types of green. I added a little bit more blue, which made a darker green. What happens if I add a little bit of white to my green? It gets lighter. What happens if I add a little bit of red? It makes it turn muddy. But sometimes I want a kind of muddy green. Keep painting and fill your whole paper up. Let it dry, because when it's dry, we'll do a whole nother project using this piece of paper. is dry you might notice that it's become a bit crinkly and wrinkled. What I do is I put something heavy on top of it. I'm using a ream of paper but you could use books, a stack of magazines, even a pot. See you soon and don't forget take a picture of what you've been working on and send it to us. We'd love to see. Also check back we'll have another project using this piece of paper very soon.